Hi folks, this is Regway Matt coming to you for another um, with another bedtime story. Uh, and this was going to be kind of different. It was about uh, a friend of mine, Tony Spalaccio. Tony was uh, a friend of mine, and he was a very good friend of mine. Uh, I was sad to see him go. Uh, I never saw the mean part of him that they portrayed in Casino. I never saw that type of attitude. He was a very happy-go-lucky guy. But whenever he would come into town, um, I would assume whenever, but he'd stop in unexpectedly. He would just, he wouldn't call me, he'd just stop in at my home. And uh, many, many times I thought about it and said, uh, uh, I, I just accepted it for what it was. He remained unobtrusive. I originally met him with the rest of the Grand Avenue crew down at uh, American Bonding. However, uh, uh, when he did come to town, uh, we'd stop and have a few scotches together, you know, we'd spend some time. And uh, I was kind of put back by the fact that he came to town and, and this was when he was murdered. Uh, everything was in chaos. Uh, uh, I'm sure that uh, Frank was involved in it and other people. I don't know what Nick Calabrese said about it exactly because I wasn't there for the interview. But Tony was a very, very close friend of mine and uh, we talked about a lot of different things together. And usually it wasn't about business or anything like that. He'd say, how you doing? I'd say, fine and I'd ask how he was doing, he'd say fine. We never went into any details. But one thing that I can tell you is uh, Tony knew that I was an FBI mole a long time before he passed away, and he never gave me up. He just never gave me up to anybody. Uh, I never, maybe he thought I, I was going to be to it some advantage of his because we spoke and we, as we rapped, you know, we just hung out together and stuff like that. But uh, when he died, I took it very, very hard. I kind of expected that uh, something was wrong after they couldn't find him. Um, I wanted to go to the funeral, and I was told by other people from the Grand Avenue crew not to go to the funeral. Nobody would show up. And I was very impressed when Bob Conrad showed up. Bob Conrad was a close friend of his also, and uh, he hung out you know, quite well. But at any rate, uh, his family. Uh, I never met them or spent any time with them or anything like that. It was just him and him alone. I don't know what interest he really took in me, uh, other than the fact that we were friends. And that was just that uh, I was the kid and he was the older guy. So anyway, uh, like I said, this is why we met coming to you again with a bedtime story. And uh, I've written a lot of things in a book called Nobody Cares and What I Did About It. You can find it at www.redwebet.com. And it's also available at Amazon.com. But if you want an autograph version uh, or an autograph copy, uh, you can uh, go to my website, www.redwebet.com, and I'll autograph it personally to you. Just put in, when you order it, just put in what you want, and I'll be glad to do it. But that's my bedtime story about Tony. It was a great. Now that I, I read things about him and stuff like that, it's a, it's, it's a person that I really didn't know. Uh, we laughed a lot and joked a lot. And, uh, it was that kind of relationship. Uh, different, different than, uh, I don't know, that you would see in the motion pictures, et cetera, et cetera. But have a good evening and God bless. Mm -hmm.